hello friends welcome back in this session uh, we are going to go deeper into uh, the python programming uh, initially the agenda for the session will be discussed uh, we will have how to run the python in linux unix environment first and then the numbers and string games will be played so that you can become stronger in both areas uh, first we will uh, run it in uh, ubuntu how do we run it we need to first get all the updates properly so for that as usual we go for uh, sudo apt hyphen get update uh, once you give your uh, password i mean the supervisor password everything is done and this is customary so once you are done with that the steps to install python is very simple sudo space apt hyphen get install python 3.6 you can specify the version number here and it will be installed in few minutes if you already uh, got it like what i have got in front of you uh, that's fine you you need not do much about it now then you will have to run your code there so for that you can go with ch mode pattern that i told you yesterday in my previous session but now uh, we have a simpler way just like in windows we can use it just open a, a, a editor it can be gedit uh, i have given the command here you can see that gedit one underscore linux dot py in that type your python code save it and python space file name dot py is enough for running the code this is exactly the same as what we have done in our uh, windows environment so nothing uh, much different and the results are the same uh, this is how we can run the code in uh, linux so let's get back to python with strings uh, we will start with the uh, quotes single quote has got a meaning double quote has got a meaning triple quotes have got a meaning so we're going to see all this now there is one more beautiful point that we need to understand with respect to strings you need not have a print function to print something on the screen see here i have used hello world directly i am highlighting it right now hello world directly without any print of statement i mean print of function i have got a single quote and i press enter the moment i do it i get hello world printer back and i can do the same with print function as well the results will remain the same and you can see that i have used hello world with single quote so it will just be printed as it is like an echo you can use print if you want but otherwise ignore it no problem now we will go to the uh, double quotes pattern a uh, double quotes is same as the single quote and there is no major difference you can see that here in single quote as we have seen in the previous slide a single quote hello world now i am going to double quote hello world both are the same but you cannot mix both you can say that both are the same but you cannot mix and start up with a uh, double quote hello and you end up with a single quote world it is not possible so it will show an error saying that uol syntax error is displayed so remember single quote and double quote with respect to python are the same there is no need to confuse much about it here and let's go to the next one quickly triple quote what is it as many number of lines of code you want you can include it in triple quote so for example here i have started with the triple quote and i am typing shri ram is teaching you python by pressing it to the next next line and then finally i end it up with in an easier way triple quote now when you press enter you will get it as shri ram is slash in it is new line teaching you slash in new line python slash in new line in an easier way that is it it's very simple also you can mix double quote inside the triple quote or single quote inside the triple quote to highlight it as as perfectly as you want you can see that here shri ram is in double quotes teaching you python and next line in a easier way a single quote is having easier it will be reflected don't worry about the slash n and all we need not worry bother much about it right now we have some formatting related stuff that we can see later but for now understand when you want to go with the multiple lines one after another which are to be included uh, at one stretch which are to be printed at one stretch this is the easiest way that you can follow now the next thing is string concatenation what is it most of the programming languages support string concatenation and python is no different it is easy as well now how do we do it very simple single quote shri ram is teaching single quote close in a single quote i put dot 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 and i close it in another single quote i start python to you folks and i close it now once you press enter it will automatically combine these and it is concatenation the same can be done with print also print inside single quote i am having sachin dot 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 is the greatest cricketer of cricketers so now when you you can see here i have started with a single quote sachin i have entered i have got dot 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 and this doesn't have a quote hence it is an error now when i make it right sachin 
I have single quote properly closed. I have single quote for the dots, and then I start the single quote again. It's the greatest of cricketers. Now you get Sachin is greatest of cricketers, and the concatenation has happened. This is the easiest way you can understand string concatenation. This is a purposeful error. So remember, all these you will have to try it out so that you can understand things better. And I prompt you to try it out. And if you have any queries, I can always answer you uh, through my comment section. Please go ahead and type it. The next one is Unicode in Python. What is it? It's very important and interesting as well when you want to include a non-ASCII character or your native language. For example, Hindi, English, uh, Hindi other than English, I'm talking about Hindi, Urdu, Telugu, whatever you want, you can include, right? So in that way, you need to tell the Python that you are including something which is away from its nativity. Now for that, you need to use U, which tells it that this is something away from you. So be, be careful about it. Now I have given you an example here x is equal to this u tells that it is unicode in double quote i have put i love india the love symbol the heart art in symbol is not familiar with uh, is not familiar to the python so it will not understand but when you put a, a u there it understands it and you can see the result here i love india is printed there will not be any error but you will have to be careful see this art in equal to 10 print art in this will fail you cannot do this this is this is not fair so you cannot do this. So please remember for you to include anything other than the native English, which is accepted by Python, which is well within the rules and boundaries of Python, you need to go with Unicode, which is nothing but you, but you cannot assign any value to Unicode. Now we need to uh, go with escape sequences quickly and we are going to learn them in one shot. See that first I'm going to talk about slash T as most of the languages slash T is nothing but tab new line. Slash n is nothing but new line. You see that India is slash n my country. So I need to get a result which says that India is in the first line and in the next line it should go with my country. Backspace, I have got b a a slash b c k space. I got one more additional a here slash b should remove it. Backslash to get backslash on screen, it's a special thing. So I need to add one more slash. This slash should be printed right now. Form feed, hello underscore slash f world so i should get a form feed character here single quote you can see that in double quote i have put a slash and single quote double quote i have put a double quote slash double quote so that the slash tells that this has to be printed and bell slash a the bell rings so how do you verify sir very simple print tab seek print new line print backspace print form feed print single quote print double quote print bell ring print backslash See that you got the result here. Here you go with the tab. There is a tab space. India is my country has come into the next line. Backspace. Double A were there in the question. So I have removed that one, one additional A now. Hello underscore. This is the form feed character. Single quote, double quote and the bell ring. I cannot prove you that right now, but I have got the text here. And that is it. It's very simple, but very important to know from interview perspective because they may throw you a question with the escape sequence and they may ask you to find out what could be the output in this case. So it is very, very important yet. It is very easy. We will see in the next session more concepts. I hope the things are very clear now. The materials are also available in front of you. If you have any uh, suggestions, inputs, uh, queries, concerns, please go ahead and type it in the uh, comment section. And thank you very much for the consistent support you guys are giving. And if you have uh, anything to say, you can uh, put it up in the comment section. Thank you very much for your consistent support.